I don't know why this is making me nervous. It's just, it's just different from what I normally get off of that. Get, stop, stop, that's mine. There was an apple cider there. Someone's helping. So something happened to me at the gym tonight. Not a bad thing, not a bad thing before everyone like freaks out. Um, just something that kind of inspired what I think I might do. It is a new series called Interesting Interactions. Uh, today I had an interesting interaction with somebody. So I'm at the gym at like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, just because I have a little too much energy and I don't know what to do with it and I gotta get out of my system. And this evening there was a woman in the gym who was also there. Um, she could have been my mom if not a little bit older. She was a, a, a large woman, but still, you know, cool, no judgment, whatever, good for you. She was wearing a flowered dress at the gym. Still, same thing, no judgment, just trying to give you a visual. And um, she she walked past me a few times and I noticed it, but you know, didn't think anything of it. She's going to the weight, she's going to the treadmill. Cool, so am I. I go to sit down in the massage chair afterwards and she sits down next to me. I have my headphones in and she's kind of like looking at me and then goes back to what she's doing. She's looking at me goes back to what she's doing and I'm like okay cool whatever I purple hair I'm used to it and um she no don't judge me by the way I'm totally filming off of a selfie stick right now and there's some, gonna be some camera wobbles because I don't have a tripod but uh so she's looking at me look away look at me look away and she uh finally she looks at me and I see her go I'm like, oh, okay. So I take my headphones out because, you know, that's the universal gesture for trying to get your attention. Please remove your auditory device. And uh, she goes, I love your hair. Can I ask you some questions? I said, sure. And my standard answer for I love your hair or, well, oh, it's purple or whatever is, thank you. Everyone should try it once. Have an awesome day. Uh, and I had posted a video a few months ago about hair discrimination and how I, I do truly believe that you should be a good ambassador for the look that you're trying to portray. In my case, I wanna make sure that people know that I'm not some teenager going through a phase. I'm a successful, almost 30 year old who works very, very hard and does this because as I put it, I'm correcting a factory mistake. I was supposed to be a purple person. It's cool with me. But she had a couple questions like how do you do it what do you use how long have you had it so i answer you know i use uh, jerome russell punky color sometimes i use manic panic um last about seven to ten weeks between dyes i use a color conditioner to keep it fresh the, the normal stuff so she starts asking me questions about my life they're slightly probing and she's um very excited to ask me these questions and I don't mind answering, I'm a pretty open person, it's cool for me. And a lot of times I feel like when someone who isn't in your social scene, I guess, or doesn't seem like someone that you're gonna have a lot in common with, starts asking you questions, you make a really strong effort to just kind of be like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, as you back out of the room. And I caught myself kind of doing that. And I stopped and I thought, this person could have some interesting, valid, worthwhile things to listen to. I have nowhere else to be. I'm in a massage chair. Let's let's see what she has to say. Let's let's see what's up. So I respond to her questions. I ask a few of my own. We have a really nice talk. Really nice. Very interesting. She's a music teacher. She works with um, developmentally challenged children and adults, teaching them music theory and music therapy. She also worked with the state as a teacher for helping kids who needed a little bit more, a little bit more help for life. And I really appreciate that. I'm a kid who needed help and she would have been a great teacher for someone to help someone like me. I told her how when I was in Catholic school, I once told one of the nuns that I couldn't hear them when I was sitting down because I'm just a kinetic learner and I need to be moving and touching and doing things. And if I'm not moving and touching and doing things, I drive people crazy because, you know, I'm crazy. But we had a really nice talk and it brought me back to being an ambassador for your exterior presence. I have purple hair and I sometimes rock heavy, sometimes 
<laughs> sometimes I often rock heavy makeup and bright colors and loud stuff and skull pictures and I just I love all that stuff that's fun for me that's me and she um she was someone who how do I say this and not sound like a dick she was a very large heavy woman who exterior wise looks nothing like me even though I'm also a more plus size figure and the clothes that she was wearing were things that were stereotypical to the image that some people give very large women I feel like I'm gonna sound like a dick no matter how I say this and it's the internet so someone's gonna hate me so whatever let's just go for it someone could have looked at her and said you're lazy you're stupid how do you do this to yourself you don't know they wouldn't have taken the time to talk to her to find out that she is a teacher and that she is a classically contrained European composing musician who plays all these amazing instruments they wouldn't know that she is a belly dancer they wouldn't know that she works with kids who need help they wouldn't know these things just like when someone sometimes sees my purple hair and they have a problem with it it's uh, not super common but also not as uncommon as it could be most people see my hair and it's little kids and old people and uh, little kids want to know why I'm a cartoon in real life and old people want to know how I have a job or they want to touch it or they don't ask and they just touch it that's cool too it happens all the time doesn't even phase me strangers touching me at this point whatever um, but they wouldn't know that I'm in sales and I love it and I enjoy it and I work for a company that I really stand behind they wouldn't know that I'm an artist and an animal lover and I have a passion for bright colors or that I have you know birds I'm a huge bird person like bird watching bird owning you can hear the bird owning behind me um, they wouldn't know that I'm into interior design they just they wouldn't know they wouldn't know I love kids I think kids are great I love listening to kids and the way they talk is just amazing another interesting interaction I had recently was a little girl who came out of the bathroom I work stopped looked at me looked at her dad who looked like Cal Drogo just awesome she goes can I ask her a question her dad goes yeah that's fine ask her a question she said why is your hair purple I stand a response I'm correcting a factory mistake I was just supposed to be purple and she just kind of did one of these and I was like oh, I'm way over her head she's like four and I said you know how sometimes you want to wear a pretty dress to make yourself feel good well my purple hair makes me feel good because I guess I'm just a purple person she goes oh I'm gonna be a green person and just walked out the door away from me and that was great. I love kids. Kids are the best. And just if you if you need to pick me up, listen to a three year old for like five minutes, ask them questions about life. It's amazing. It'll change everything. But um, I feel like this was a truly like a moment at the gym tonight of not judging the book by its cover. And I caught myself judging the book by its cover. Had to take a step back and say, Hey, people judge me too. She has nice things to say about my hair let's um let's absorb it let's find out what she has to say let's find out what she has to think and I'm glad I did it spent an extra 45 minutes at the gym tonight talking to someone about their life and their feelings and the things that are important to them because they wanted to know about my hair and just like I said I believe in being a good role model for your look good manners politeness friendliness open-mindedness none of that ever goes out of style so uh, I'd love for you guys to go out and talk to someone that you maybe wouldn't normally talk to and be safe. Don't like, no like angry hell's angel biker bars. Let's talk about politics. It might not end well. I mean, try it if you want to. Just don't, disclaimer, don't blame me. Um, but then again, those hell's angels might be Shriners hell's angels that raise money for kids. They're out there. You should check it out. Um... <laughs> Yeah, see? Book by a cover right there. It's a little hard to get out of that little loop right there. Um, give it a try. Talk to people. Tell me what you think. And uh, 
I'm gonna go to bed now because it's like 11 15 at night and I'm filming on a selfie stick with my cat uh, so good night <laughs>